Today on Is It Worth It, I've got the brand new shape Isuzu D-Max V-Cross, but this time it's a lot different. We've got the ARB Expedition Edition, and this is the D-Max, but kitted out with extra off-road camping accessories. ARB stands for the founder's initials, Anthony Ronald Brown. And the company's based in Australia, and they make aftermarket parts for pickup trucks, so you can add these additional extras. We're actually camping out here in Bowness. As you can see, I've got the hard top 10 on there as well, so I'll go through all the extras, plus how it fares in storm kathleen so if that sounds good to you and you enjoy car content like this give it a like and if you haven't already hit subscribe so this has the same engine as the d-max v-cross it is the new shape remember the v-cross is the highest trim on the d-max but there's not much difference between this and the standard version d-max it's still got the standard led lights here on the front you do have some arb branding on the vehicle as well but this sort of is all the same up front apart from you you do get some winches this is in the valencia orange it looks quite nice the vehicle i had last time the v-cross was an automatic now i'm driving the manual you get with this it kind of distills that motion of i'm in the outback so i want everything to be quite robust manual so i was a little apprehensive really like how is it going to fare with the english weather with everything it is like an australian spec but if you're out in the sticks all the time quite agricultural you really do get that vibe with it being the manual the gearbox can definitely help with being able to come off that clutch, giving you a bit more control. In terms of how the car drives, it's not a very quiet, it's not a refined driving experience. It's very revvy. If I was to drive day to day in the Isuzu d -Max, I would prefer the automatic. And by the way, because you've got the temp box on, it will deplete your fuel economy quite rapidly as well, especially if you're doing motorway speeds, because it's affecting the aerodynamics of the car. The last time we had the Azizi D-Max on the channel, we wanted to see if you could use a pickup as a daily. If you want to check that video out, click here. So let's go and check out all the ARB features that you get. So on the Ascent Edition, you get this awning here as well included. In Zipler awning, I did get it out before. This is the hard top shell. It comes with gas struts, so it opens up very easily. You do get these LED lights as well, which are cool. You also get them on the side with the tent so to light up when you're getting in and out you also get these huge led light bar here and that really does light everything up now this is the divided boot so you can open the top as well and also you can open up the sides here just here pressing that you can open this up so you get these really cool ARB drawers that you pull out really easy to use, but they're industrialized, so they do stick into place. Really robust, easy to use, but also really cool. You get a full kitchen. I'll show this very quickly if I can. Haven't actually used this yet, but it just gives you an idea of how versatile this thing is. You've got your own portable kitchen essentially. You do put, but you do put a sink in there as well. Uh, and then you've got your pub, and then you can move that all back inside. Uh, pop that back in there it all feels very stainless steel sort of finish very polished but it is cool that you can just shove all this back neat and compact back into the boot now this is another cool thing you get this full 60 litre capacity fridge but you can actually also turn it into a fridge as well just by uh, turning the dials on there that's really cool and you can also automatically sort the temperature out on the on the dial so that's really good and again that pushes back in and out a few drawers here and like i say you can push that all back in you do get on board computer called by red Hot, and that's where you can use the lights and control everything from that cabin there you do have to be wary though if you are using the fridge to have something plugged up because it will drain the internal battery as well so you've got the isuzu d max logo at the back at the side here, you get these cool mud guards. Um, you also get side steps as well, so you're not putting mud inside the cabin. The tent itself, the Aspera tent, it's actually got this beautiful material. It's almost like wax, so it's really waterproof as well. You get this step ladder here that you can fold up, but also you get some cool little pouches that just thread on here at the side, and you can move them. So you can put your shoes and stuff in there at night, and they come as standard which is really good. Show you the hard top tent as well, the differences with that. The thing about the pop-up tent is you can actually just keep all your bedding in there. Not many hard top tents are like to do that. So you can just chuck your pillows, chuck your bedding in. I would advise maybe buying an extra mattress for it because it, it's not the most comfortable with just 
the standard mattress. But that's essentially what the tent looks like inside. That's a queen size tent. As we hunker down before Storm Kathleen, I will just talk about the cost and extras. The D-Max itself is around 36,000 and the ARB extras come to just over 10,000 pounds. The Espera tent costs two and a half thousand on its own and is named after a town in Australia, which is known for its natural beauty and blue haven. Pretty ironic right now as hard shell tents are meant to withstand speeds of up to 38 miles per hour max. And Storm Kathleen is expected to be in excess of 50 plus mile per hour winds. So the tent survived, the winds were up to about 40 to 50 mile per hour, probably seen more. It did rustle around a little bit, mainly because we're on top of a car. All in all, it was okay, it kept us safe and warm. There was a little bit of condensation, but not much. Wouldn't like to do it every weekend, but if you're camping on the beach, probably perfect. Let us know what you think of the ARB edition. Do you think it's worth an extra £10,000? Let us know in the comments section below. Hope you've enjoyed the video and as always hit subscribe really does help us out and looking forward to seeing you on the next one on is it worth it